my god! <laughs> Another day of four hours sleep. Chris. Chris, come on. Oh, help me. Chris. Crystalina. Chris. You stop you calling. Chris. I you just want to rest for a while. How do I have a mom? This is Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so the people that know me know that the sis is quite a busy person. So today I want to talk about how I combine going to work, how I combine my school stuff, surviving two, two courses, how I do fun stuff and all the extra thousands of things that I do next to school. Basically, how do I survive a busy life? Stop singing everything in this video. <laughs> First of all, if you want to survive a busy life, what is so important is that you have your priorities straight. Know what is important and what can wait. Know if that Netflix series can wait or when it can wait and when not. Know when you need to work on your school, where you need to work on what. What helps with that is that you make a list. That is what I do. I have a list and you have like, like this seems like it's the simplest thing ever, but not everybody thinks about this. You just make a list about the, about the things that you need to do. Sometimes a daily list can be very good because then you know what you have to do daily. And believe me, when you accomplish that task and you just put a curl next to the goal that you wanted to do for that day, it feels so good. It just feels like, you can conquer the world because you survive one day so tomorrow you can survive again you know so make a list because otherwise it's just gonna fly, fly all, around all around in your head, head there 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 and you just get confused and stressed and sometimes that results in a lot of crying okay so don't do that like i said before learn how to plan my phone is my agenda if something is not in the agenda of my phone it's not happening if I plan something with you and I didn't tell you, oh, I'm going to put that in my agenda, or you don't see me taking my phone and putting it in my agenda. I'm sorry, Jose, I am not seeing you. That I'm telling you, it helps so much. If you like paper agendas more, then put it in a paper agenda, but always put down what you need to do so that you can see when you have some free time. Also plan your free time. If you are a very busy person, it's also good to plan your free time, but more about that later. What you should also learn if you have a very busy life or if you are going to get a busy life because you have more tasks coming on your plate is learning how to say no. You have to put yourself on the first position sometimes. Like understand that you want to help other people, but you cannot come and kill yourself. You cannot come and kill yourself by saying yes to everything. Like you're one human being and you cannot duplicate yourself. And if the person that you're talking to is just a grown ass person, then they'll understand when you say no. So don't be afraid to say no. And if they get angry, that's their business. It's not none of your business. I mean, you need to rest as well. And I'm not only talking about saying no for like things that you really need to do but sometimes you gotta say no because you want to sleep yes you gotta say no because you want to sleep and you're tired okay it happens what also helps for me is to like read my Bible and pray like it gives me this certain kind of calmness that everything is gonna be all right that God has it all under control and that I should just take it one step at a time so read your Bible pray every day it really helps I'm telling you it does although you have a busy life when you're doing thousand things thousand of good things like I'm proud of you keep on doing that but plan in your free time because there will come a time that you just can't handle it because you're not giving yourself enough attention listen up 
You is important too. Don't put the other on number on the first place always and put yourself on the second place. You are important. So please give yourself some free time in the midst of all this business. Go to a spa. Like I need to do this as well. Okay, Chris, you're guilty of this as well. But go to a spa, go a day out. Don't forget your social life and all this business. Like that's also very important because otherwise you would just there you it will come to a point that you'll be like what am I actually doing this for and where is the fun in this you understand it's very important to keep the goal that you have um, in front of you as well um, because if you're busy you tend to forget what you're doing this for and you just come to a moment you'll be like wait for who for what and why you know what I'm saying so just keep your goal in your eyes if there's a goal that you made for 2019 look at it regularly so that you know okay this is what I'm doing it for because best believe me there are going to be moments that it's it's just so occupied in your head and you're like I want to quit it all I want to quit it all but just keep your goal in mind that also helps so yeah these were the few of my tips that I had on how to survive a busy life. I'm a very busy girl, so if anyone has more tips, please, they are very welcome. I will watch this video when I tend to forget that I should take some free time or I should take a breath. Um, if you have more tips, put them below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have ideas for me, more ideas or things that you want to see, just know that they are always very welcome. So thanks for watching and see you in the next episode of Aquastalina.